Construct DFA for set of all strings over AB which do not contain a substring AABB in it. We can see this language as a complement of the language set of all strings containing a substring AABB. So instead of constructing DFA for this language directly, we can construct DFA for this language and can find its complement. Thus to construct DFA for the language L, automata will be in its initial state Q0 and it is expecting for a substring AABB. So as long as it sees any number of Bs, it will remain in the same state Q0 expecting for the substring AABB. When it sees a symbol A, it will move to another state which remembers that the, a part of the substring A of the substring AABB is already seen and from this state it is expecting for a substring ABB. So if this A is followed by another A moves to another state which remembers that AA of AABB is already seen. And if this A is followed by a B move to another state which remembers that AAB of the substring AABB is already seen. From here if it sees a B move to another state Q4 which remembers that the string already contains the substring AABB. So this state should be the final state. Since the string already contains the substring AABB, if it is followed by any number of A's or B's or their combination, remain in the same state which remembers that the string already contains the substring. Now to complete this DFA, here we have transition on A and transition on B. Here we have transition on B. What happens if we see an A from the state Q3? We reached Q3 after seeing a substring A, A, B. But instead of B, this, this is followed by an A. Then we need another A, B, B to reach the final state. So move back to the state Q1 which remembers that A of the substring A, A, B, B is seen. And now it is expecting for ABB. So from Q3 we have both transitions. From Q2 we have transition on B. What happens if we see an A here? We reached the state Q2 after seeing a substring AA. But instead of B, that AA is followed by A. Then we need a BB to reach the final state. So as long as we see any number of A's remain in the same state Q2 expecting for a BB. And here we have a transition on A. What happens if we see a B here? After seeing one A we reach to the state Q1 but that A is followed by a B. Now we need another substring AABB to reach the final state. So move back to the state Q0 which expects for the substring AABB or which remembers that any part of AABB is not yet seen. Now the DFA for the language L is complete. To construct DFA for the language L dash, we can complement this DFA by converting the final state to non-final state and by converting all the non-final states to final state. In order to reject the string containing the substring AABB, the state should be a non-final state. And in order to accept every other string, all these states should be the final state. And all the other transitions remain the same. Q0 itself is the initial state. So this is our required DFA for the language set of all strings which do not contain a substring AABB in it.